Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to another make your own outdoor gear video. And judging by the response to the last make your own gear video that I did, you guys seem to really like making your own stuff. And in this one, well, hopefully it won't disappoint. This one is probably the simplest outdoor project for a bit of gear that you could possibly ever make. So as with our other project, this one is a spot of upcycling. We're going to use something that most people would throw away. We're also not going to use a whole lot in the way of equipment to make it. In fact, all we're going to use is our knife. As far as materials go, well, we're going to use a six pint milk carton, empty, complete with lid. And we're going to use a stick, and well, that stick can be any length you like, whatever suits your needs. But for this particular demonstration, I'm going to be using one that's an armpit to a fingertip in length. And I'm also going to need a baton. And also, I'm going to need one household candle. Because in this video, we are going to make a super simple candle lantern. So a quick slurp of my tea and then we'll crack on. So the first job we're going to do is sort out our stick. So as I said, this one is armpit to fingertip in length. My first job is I'm going to put a point on one end of it, the thinner end of the two. And I've made the point on this quite short and stubby. And that's intentional because this end's gonna be driven into the ground. If it's a long pointy point, they've got a tendency to snap off. Where a short stubby one like this doesn't as you hammer it into the ground. With that end done, I'm then gonna turn my attention to this end. And all I'm gonna do is just chamfer off around the edge. So it's just slightly rounded and that will help stop the top of the stick from splitting. And with that done, I'm just gonna pop my knife away. So they've got both hands free to push this into the ground. Now what I wanna do with this stick is create a little split in the top of it. To do that, I'm going to use my knife and a baton. I've driven it into the ground so it stays nice and steady. I'm going to take my knife and just place it across the centre of the stick. I'm then going to gently tap my knife like so until it's just flush with the top of the stick. Now what I want to do next is a controlled split and to do that all I'm going to do is turn the knife blade and what that will do is it will split the fibres in the wood and we should get a nice even split down through the top of our stick. And that's the stick done now so I can pop the knife away. Next thing I'm going to turn my attention to is the milk cart. First thing I want to do is remove this label. Then, with the label removed, on the opposite side of the container to this handle, so this side, I want to cut two little slots, about a palm's width apart. And there is that slot all cut out. My next job is to trim the top of the carton off completely. I 
there it is. That's the carton almost ready. The next bit I want to look at is the lid. And all we do with this is take it off and in the centre I'm going to cut across. It doesn't go all the way to the edge, it stops just short of the, the edge so it leaves about 5mm on each of the four points of the cross. There's my cross all cut out. Next I'm going to take my candle and I'm going to push it through the center of that cross. Like that. So the elements are done. My stick is all prepared. My milk carton is good to go and my candle is sat all nice and ready all I've got to do now is put it all together and to do that locate my two slots that I cut in the side and they are going to get placed over the split in the stick So I'm just lighting my candle up and then all I'm going to do is pop it up through that hole. And then I just screw the cap in place. And voila, I have one very collapsible, very lightweight candle lantern. So it's a super simple idea. It's also super versatile. You don't need to carry lots of little tea lights because you've got one household candle and they will burn for quite some time. You can have it on the stick and you can make it any height you like. So a little short one like this is great for under a normal basher, but you might want a longer one if you're living inside a hammock or you want something that's closer to where you are. Obviously we have to be a little bit careful with these because they are made of plastic but the reason I go for the six point ones is that it keeps the candle a little bit further away from the plastic edges on the sides. We can move the candle up and down in the little holder and we don't even have to use it with the stick. We can take it off the stick and I can carry it off through the woods if I need to. And the great thing about this is because of the high sides, the candle is well protected from the wind. We don't even have to stop at using them like this. If you don't want to put a stake in the ground, you can use these hung up. In which case, if you carry a little piece of wire with you, you can make a simple bale handle that you can hang on your tarp or off a tree branch. Again, makes it super, super versatile. One thing we do have to remember with these is they are only made of plastic, so you do need to take a little bit of care with them because they could be a bit of a fire hazard. Don't light it up and then go to sleep inside your shelter because that would be just asking for trouble. What you do get out of this is something that's pretty much free other than the cost of your candle. The actual container, well, it squashes down flat, fits in your rucksack and it weighs nothing at all. Probably the best thing about it is it's something that would be otherwise thrown away. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Above all, I hope you give this a go because it's a great little project and as you saw, it took no time at all to make. If you did enjoy the video, then remember to hit that like button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, 
hit that subscribe button and remember to hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss anything that's coming up. You can also follow me over on Instagram and on Facebook. I am Greencraft on Facebook and Greencraft underscore zero one on Instagram. Pop over there and get uh, an idea of the sort of things that I'm up to. You can also pop over to my Etsy shop. It's called Greencraft Shop. And over there you'll find a selection of items that I make uh, and I sell including my little green craft mugs and my green craft patches among other things and that will help support the channel now on the subject of supporting the channel um, I've set up a patreon page my thinking behind this is I know a lot of guys in some of my bigger projects ask for more instructions and I would love to be able to do that the problem is most people only want to watch something short the majority of people however by setting up a patreon page and if you subscribe to that and become a patron for me it's just going to cost you three pounds a month and what you will get from that is well a whole host of benefits you'll get full tutorials so i've got a few quite exciting projects coming up that you don't want to miss out on and the full tutorials will appear over on my patreon page There'll be a shorter, more condensed version on here so that people can get a quick overview, but for those of you who want it in more detail, that's where to go to. There will also be early release dates of when I'm going to be doing workshops, which we're looking at doing in the summer. I'm in the process of getting that set up at the moment. And all of that, plus a couple of other benefits, will be available to my patrons who follow me on my Patreon page. Now, I will put links to all of those things, Instagram, Facebook, the Etsy shop and Patreon in the description below. Please do go and have a look. The bit at the end gets longer and longer. I've been Neil and until next time, stay safe.